Welcome to this B1 printer delivery e-learning session on report action and more specifically the SQL report action type. In order to understand the SQL report action type and why we need it, uh, we need to think uh, of a little scenario on, in the system. So we have on uh, the sales orders here uh, added a field called emails, meaning it's either emailed or not emailed. This is just a normal user-defined field. It has nothing to do with Printlery as such right now. But the idea is that we want to have full control over if something has been emailed or not. It should not be a mistake uh, doing some automation and stuff. We want to have this field control if it, there should be something emailed or not. And as you saw here, I put in the default being Y meaning everything is emailed, but the last three I have here, let's see, one, two, three is marked as emailed, but the last three is not because they were made after uh, that system. And the idea is that we should be able to use the mass delivery or the schedule, works in the same manner, uh, but I will uh, demonstrate it using mass delivery here. So we could go in and say, Whenever we open mass delivery, take the sales order, and no matter if we take these uh, these extra things in, it should never ever show more than the three emails uh, that needs to be emailed, because the rest of them should never be sent out. So what we need to do is we need to work with a bit of different things and you might not have seen uh, the specific videos yet there will be uh, specific videos for each of them but um, we need to look at the master delivery configuration where we want to go in and say print delivery should never ever send anything out if this is marked as anything else but uh, but no so uh, we could go in and set the where condition so where you emailed as my field is called equals n and if you update this we can now see that mass delivery no matter how much we include here would only show those three and if we were to mark one of these for example this 1177 as yes it will only show the two and that is where the action comes in. Because we want to have that once we have emailed, we should update this UDF. So SQL Actions is actually to update uh, user-defined fields in order to mark them as emailed, not emailed, and so on. So. And you should only do this on user-defined fields and tables. Never ever do it against system tables that can lose your support of your system. Um, so mark as emails would be our setup. And we would need to say update ORDR, which is the table of the sales order, set u underscore emails equals y where doc entry which is the primary key equals doc key doc key being our special keyword that uh, refer to the primary key so we now have a report action that uh, essentially says whenever you hit uh, the doc key of 11477, update the email field to a Y instead of an N. So we have the report action now, it's RA010. And we need to go in and actually set that up. So if we go into the report configuration right now, we want to say every time we email, it should also mark it as emails. So we Add one more line and choose the mark as emails. That means if we look at this one, it's N and we press email button. 
and we refresh here, it will now be marked as email. And only if you actually go in and change here, will it ever come back into the system. Pressing here, we don't really care about, uh, we can do it multiple times, but that is also the most common thing to do. So here I press, uh, I could set a conditional action so it wouldn't uh, happen e even in that case, but this is more the customer forgot uh, the email and you want to do it again. So it's all about more to get rid of the automation part that should never ever send it by itself. So again, it would be take mass delivery. So here we have the sales order. And if we just include everything, um, we will still only see the tree. I put it back to in a few times, but then say, okay, let's send everything that haven't been emailed yet. And inside our email, we can see them here. Let's get rid of these so we can see it happening. We sent them out. We see in our case, it, there was some grouping, so one of them turned into uh, the same, but there's essentially three invoices uh, here. And if we look at the flag uh, over here, it has been emailed is now set to yes for every three of them, meaning that if you go to mass delivery and run the sales order, including everything, there will be no data because we again have this condition put on. So that is how you use uh, the report action SQL. Very important for automation stuff. In all, in, if you don't do any automation, then it's not really needed. And again, very important, you should never ever use this for uh, anything that is uh, a system field in SAP. Only user-defined fields and tables uh, should be updated this way. So with that, thank you for attending. See you on the next one.